hip scene. A sunrise full of promise, fly convertible, good teeth in all his hair. Now you would think that this homeboy's life was a bed full of dev honeys and large liver. <laughs> well, looks can be deceiving. I don't know, it's not, it's not that bad. Well, maybe I can make it up for you, maybe. You're being too nice. Oh, no, it's the least I can yes, do. I mean, I ran into you. You're making it very difficult to be mad. Well, maybe I could take you for a drink. Rich dish. Uh-huh. <laughs> Looks like you and Ranger were gonna go do a little boom of the boom. Wait, troppo grosso. Si non che fai deve suonare. Sto prendendo un mezzo di pezzo, capisci? Una pezzo, come on. Oh, you're real brave. Why don't you do that thing with the finger when you're over here? If you want a parking space, Gabish. Oh, yeah, the sets were awesome. I was in the green room all day. No, Harley. Oh, those are cops. <laughs> hey, what's your problem? You, man, Brett. Why are you trying to bust a move on me with that caddy, huh? No, 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 no. Don't snarl at me. Yeah, I've been snarled up by junkyard dogs in Jersey that would chew you into puppy chow. Now, come on. I had to bite a move on, please. Oh, puppy chow. Okay. All right. California. Even the dogs are wimps. Hey, Tequila. Hey, Sweet Pea. What happened to you, boy? I got dissed. Hey, yo, man hey. breath. How you like this puppy head. chow? Tequila. Yeah, yeah let me show you. Hey, it ain't funny. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I can't even stand next to me. Yeah, think about that the next time you want to diss somebody. A tifarona femenina. Yeah, yeah, and I'm going to do you a new face. Hey, you seen ugly brown mutt come in here? Nope. A uh, security guard caught him leaving Gelson's with three bottles of Perrier stuffed in their jeans. Three bottles? Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, where's the third kid? What third kid? Two boys, three bottles. There gotta be a third kid. Maybe he was the one driving the getaway bike. What are you, a lawyer? No, I'm a detective, uh, just like you, although I never busted anybody for stealing yuppie water. <laughs> Crushed by two tons of Detroit iron, but I can still smell a burrito. Hmm. <laughs> My nose is on the wood. You know that mutt that didn't come in here? Yeah. I think he just stole your burrito. Tequila! Tequila! What up, ladies? Who? <laughs> God, I love burritos. I'm gonna kill him. Hey, take your ticket. You got a Captain Midnight running this uh, Boy Scout unit? Excuse me. You mean Captain Midian Knight? No one calls him Captain Midnight to his face. Why not? Because I don't let him. 
Listen, some illiterate from New York parked their Detroit land yacht in my parking space. I want it towed. I want it impounded now. Yes, sir. That won't be necessary, Sarge. Captain, about that car. Now, don't tell me you're from New York. Detective Nico Benetti, 62nd Precinct. How you doing? I'm doing good. Think Captain Pocky called you about me? Pocky, that's right. Yeah. Two days ago. You mean you drove that piece of junk from New York? Captain, to please. I'm closer to that caddy than I am most women. You drove from New York to LA in two days. No, 37 hours, 14 minutes to be exact. I would have made better time, but my mama made Pichelli's for my Anzina in Chicago. Well, Chicago's out of the way. Maybe I'll just move my cat. No, you can move it during brunch. Brunch? <laughs> Did I say brunch? I must be so anxious for the weekend to start. See, I'm going to be scuba diving off Catalina. Nuzo, could you assign visiting Detective Benetti a parking space, please? We don't have any left, Captain. Give him Detective Berger's space. He'll be in the hospital for another week. Berger's. Follow me. How'd Berger get it? He fell off Jack Spratt's wild ride. He what? Yeah, at Mother Goose's Magic Park. Oh, he was undercover. No. His kid lost her Humpty Dumpty hat. He fell off trying to catch it. He landed on the Fiddler's Three. <laughs> he didn't land on the Fiddler's Three. He landed on Miss Muppet's Tuffet. You sure? Jack Spratt's Wild Ride doesn't fly over the Fiddler's Three. It flies over Miss Muppet's Tuffet. I forgot about that. <laughs> 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 oh, brother. Mendoza was killed by a bomb in his Mercedes. That's right. The night before, he killed Jorge's sister with an ice pick. Which, which of course, none of this would have happened if uh, Special Agent Broadmoor hadn't stuck his FBI nose into what was essentially a local undercover sting. Right, right, that's right. That's why I had Broadmoor set up at the docks. See, I knew Jorge would think he was one of Mendoza's boys and pop him. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, it's a perfect way to end Act Three. I'm so glad that you agree. Uh, no. I, I can have Act Four by Monday. Jimbo, j j can, can I have till Wednesday on that? Because I'm involved with a um, stakeout over the weekend. So, good. Right. Ciao, babe. Steak out. It's a little white lie. Yeah. But he bought it. So, um. You're Nico Benetti? But the name says on the badge. Uh, Pokey and I were in Nam together. Uh, but he, he, he probably told you all about that. No, he just said that you guys were in the same unit. Bravo Company. Fifth Marines. So, here you are. Here I am. Look, uh, Captain, let me, uh, let me answer what you're thinking, okay? Okay. I shot and killed a 12-year-old girl. Firearms Review Board ruled it a righteous shooting. I sat down, had a long talk with my priest. So I'm not here to get my head together. I'm here to be a cop. Something I can't do in New York until the uh, knee-jerk liberals and the media get a fresh target. So you're over it. Have Officers Garcia and Tequila in my office, please. So, South Coast must be quite a culture shock after the Big Apple, huh? It's about what I expected. Well, you're a cop there, you're a cop here, you're a cop there, a cop. I mean, what difference does it make, right? Captain, you want to see us? Yeah. Um, visiting Detective Benetti, I want you to meet Officer Angela Garcia. Hi. How do you do? Nice to meet you. My pleasure. And Officer Tequila. These guys are your new partners. Don't you just love this look? It's the one cats get just before you eat them. <laughs> Hello. 
Look, Captain, I don't know how you work here in South Coast, but I don't work with dogs. Wait a second. Tequila isn't just any dog. No, he's, uh, he's uglier than most. Keep it up, man, Breath. You're gonna make my day. Look, Captain, come on. I thought canines were supposed to be Doberman Pinches, German Shepherds, dogs with smarts. That's it. If resting your hubcap upset you, wait till you see the burrito I'm gonna dump on your leather interior. Look, tequila's not much on looks, but he has more busts than half the officers out there. Well, really? For what? Jaywalking, purse snatch, maybe kicking sand at the beach? Come on! Uh, kicking sand on the beach isn't a problem at the moment, but we have had a rash of purse snatchings in the last month. Whew. Wow. And two personal injury accidents involving jaywalkers. Well, look, where did they cut to their butts here? Yeah, Louis Ocapo. What? It's nothing, nothing. It's just an Italian expression. Look, come on, Captain. I'm a homicide cop. Look, I'll work narcotics, uh, uh, robbery, even vice. But I draw the line if you're coming to meet a mate. Would you excuse us for a minute, Officer Garcia, please? <laughs> oh, yeah. Here comes the Kojak part. Hmm, got a cold brew in there? What you looking for, huh? Water? Water? You know what fish do in water? Okay, Desidero, Benetti. Con gas, sensei gas. Sensei gas, por favor. Sensei gas, huh? You, uh, speak Italian? Yeah. I do. I spent a year in Rome when my father was with the consulate. What I said before, I apologize. It's all right. I'm not looking for any apologies, but I am looking for an understanding. I didn't ask for you. You're here as a favor to Pokey, and that's it. So while I don't really owe you any explanations, I'm going to give you a couple in hopes that maybe you and I can get off on the right foot here. Now, I teamed you up with Officer Garcia because she's the best damn rookie that's come through this door in years. And I had hopes that uh, you'd be able to teach her a few things, some New York tricks. Now, as for tequila, you may find this hard to believe, but this mutt will cover your butt better than any partner you've had. Oh, what's so hard to believe? OK, South Coast doesn't really measure up to your New York standards. But, unfortunately, we do have our share of rapes, murders, and robberies. So until one comes along, I suggest you get familiar with our little village by the sea. Oh, and if you see a jaywalker or a purse snatcher, I'd consider it a personal favor if you'd apprehend them. Capiche? I got to You call that Kojak? That's what I love about burritos. <laughs> you get to enjoy them over and you know, if over. If I wanted to play cops and robbers with a dog and a rookie, <laughs> I'd have transferred the to jersey. Too bad you didn't. Look, Gusty, it's nothing personal. It's just that I'm used to working with, with real cops. Oh, and how do you know that we're not real cops? Look at this patrol car. What's wrong with it? Everything. It's got no dents. It has all of its hubcaps. Where the, the crumpled coffee cups, the, the cigarette butts, those pieces of pastrami and rye, the sports pages. Never even been on an all-night stakeout. Yes, it has. Nobody ever got lucky in the back seat, I'll tell you that. Oh, contraire. There was that straight chihuahua in October. <laughs> what a funky, fresh puppy she was. What is wrong with having a clean patrol car? Clean? Yeah. The bakey could perform open-heart surgery in here. Oh, I get it. So in order to be a real cop car, it has to smell like the inside of a jock's locker. When was the last time you smelled the inside of a jock's locker, Garcia? Have you ever heard of sexual harassment visiting Detective Benetti? 415 Central. Reported suicide at 408 Ward Bay Road. Let's roll. That call wasn't close. Press the numero uno, Garcia. When a gold shield detective is in order, you obey. Yes, sir. <laughs> Here we go. Now we're going to start driving like it's New York City. Hey! Hey, get away from that car! Benetti, homicide. I don't want anyone touching this car until it's been dusted, understand? That isn't a South Coast badge. It's okay, Mickey. He's with me. Where's the body? It's inside the house. Thank you. Okay, Garcia, I want you to run a make on an 88 Range Rover green license plate number, um, 
Seven Boy Tom Paul 815. You got that? Yeah, Green 88 Rover Seven Boy Tom Paul 815. You gotta be quick if you wanna be a cop, Garcia. I am a cop. You know, I bet when you get off duty, you take a car, you put it in your spokes, and you play motorcycle cop. Damn, this boy disses everybody he meets. What do you got, officer? Okay, what do we got here? Female Caucasian, 40s, wears Joy for two. What's this? Bay rum and a, a poodle. And coming in the heat soon. Oh, wow. What'd you call it in? It's a suicide. She left a note. You got a criminologist at South Coast? Doug Eibald. He's a retired homicide tech. I called him and Sam Spade. Sam Spade? He's the coroner. Only in La La Land. All right, you make sure he dusts the red Mercedes outside, the table, the tumblers, the bottle. And I want to sample her handwriting compared to this note. Got it. Who found the body? Beach Patrol spotted her through the window. The uh, license plate on the rover was registered to a Russell Lester, 616 Bellagio Road, Bel Air. Hey, John. Where's the body? I'm hanging around. <gasps> I'll give you one point for not screaming, Garcia. Well, you have Russell Lester picked up for questioning. You make sure Sam Spade checks for signs of strangulation before she was hung. You don't think this was a suicide? No. no. She was murdered. Look, just because the poor woman got into a fender bender the day that she committed suicide... Garcia, Garcia, you got a handkerchief? What did the bird do to my car? doesn't mean that the guy that dinged her car murdered her. Garcia, he just didn't ding her car. He dinged her, too. That's gross. It's life. You see any more spots? <laughs> if you think that's bad, wait till you see what this bird yeah. is going to do. All right, here. Why don't you hang on to it? I'll buy you a new one with uh, Italian lace. Visiting Detective Benetti. How was yeah. your first day on South Coast? Uh, fruitful? For, sounds like my lunch at Finocchio's. Where? Finocchio's. I had the peach salad with tofu and bean sprouts. <laughs> Peachy bean. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was just my attempt at a little humor there. So oh. I understand uh, you rolled on that suicide, huh? No, she was murdered, Captain. Really? Yeah. Anything worth writing about? What? I mean, you know, I mean, anything um, unusual. Unusual? Mm-hmm. Murderer dinged the victim's car on the freeway. Then he followed her home, discussed damages. They had drinks, sex, strangled her. Then he wrote a note, hung her from the balcony, and make it look like a suicide. No, there's nothing unusual. That's terrible. It really would make a great TV movie. A great what? Wait a second. How did you know that this guy did all this stuff? Aha! Good point, Captain. My point, exactly. I saw their fender bender on the freeway. He was lean, she was hungry, and then they got off the same exit together. The rest is uh, intuition. Good. Hey, look it. Now it's time to spell relief. You see the fender bender on the highway. You know, if I wrote that into a screenplay, they'd never buy it. They'd say it was too coincidental. I want a full report on my desk in the morning, OK? Just the facts, no intuition. Of course, of course. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Where are you staying? With my ex. Your ex? Yeah. I hope she likes tequila. Bombs up. What? Wait a minute. I barely agreed to work with that dog. There ain't no way he's coming home with me. He's your partner. He stays with you. That's department policy. Garcia's his partner, too. Let him stay with her. Yo, I'm down for that. Teresa's allergic to dogs. Who's Teresa? My daughter. Age 8, going on 28. You're married? Widowed. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know you had an ex. <laughs> Wait a second. I mean, you guys spend the whole day in patrol and you didn't get into each other's personal lives? That's got to be a first. What am I doing? I got a ride in this thing. That dog's not coming home with me. I'm not giving you a choice, visiting Detective Benetti. Now, the department will reimburse you for food and out-of-pocket expenses. Oh, yeah. It's like the first thing you ought to buy is a pooper scooper. 
A pooper scooper? He needs a number 10 coal shovel. Ah, now I'm ready for anything. safer if you learn to sniff her first. She always acts like this when she's glad to see me. Come on in. <laughs> I think. You stay here till I call you, Gavish. Yeah, get away, V. I want to sniff this place out. A motorcycle in the middle of the room? Rosin, talc, mmm, toast sweat. You know the last time I saw a bike inside a house, huh? No knows Frankie's loft in Soho. Remember, we used to meet there for our nooners when you were a rockette? Hmm? Rubbing alcohol, liniment, mercurochrome, prep H. What the hell goes on here? Grazie. Terry, how could you forget No knows Frankie's place, especially after that night in October? It was cold, it was pouring rain, and we figured you'd never catch a cab in time to make it back for your 8 o'clock performance? So we continued making love until... The series came on. And then Frankie and Tony and Gino and that Greek kid... Bonjour. ...come over and I end up making the pasta and going out in the rain to get the beer. Avero. And getting fired. Terry, you weren't meant for the chorus line. Getting fired was the best thing that ever happened to you. Well, next to marrying me. Two skip bots. Just some crazy big deal. Terry. Nico, it's my fault. I'm stupid. Should have never gone to the Sons of Italy for Angie's wedding. You were her bridesmaid. And if you hadn't, we wouldn't have met. And you would have missed the greatest sex since Anthony climbed Cleopatra. <laughs> Damn, baby, chill with that squealing. What's that? Who, him? It's my partner. I told you to wait. <laughs> what? And miss this? What's the gag, Nico? Oh, no gag. This is La La Land, where cops work TV shows, wear shorts, and patrol with dogs. But Terry, honest, huh? huh? I'm out here as a visiting detective for a couple of months. Some Wombok captain gives me a dog for a partner. The truth. All right. Let's get this over with so we can talk. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You're only going to do it so we can talk? Huh? Anything you say. My boy getting busy. What? Don't mind me. The bathroom! You locked me in the bathroom! And you didn't even leave the toilet lid up.
It wasn't your fault, baby. Everybody that counts knows that. What a bambino più giovane. White poodles, black poodles, pink poodles, and you're all mine, mine, mine! You woke me! In the middle of a pack of hot poodles, you woke me! What the hell are you doing on my bed? Your bed, my bed, Fan's bed! What the hell do I care? Terry! Maybe if I go back to sleep quick, the poodles will still be there. Cute. Who are you? Didn't Terry tell you about me? I'm Shelly. Terry lets me create here, and I help her out with the rent. She said I could keep the same arrangement with you. With me? <laughs> yeah, only she said he might take less because he likes blondes. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Terry? On her way to London. London? Mm-hmm. She's dancing on ZZ Top's world tour. She'll be back in six months. Well, she didn't tell me. No problem. She left a note. You know, like, where to send the rent checks, how to reconnect the phone, the cable, <laughs> the gas. <laughs> a note. She left me another note. When she split from New York, she left me a note. Every time she can't face me, she writes a note. This way she gets her say, and I get a note. It's even the same paper. Look. What are you beefing about? She took you to paradise, left brews in the fridge, and steaks in the freezer. Homie, it don't get no better than that. <laughs> Pedestrians have the right of way in California. Duzo? Booker. For what? Jaywalking. You book me, and I'll tell your mother. You know my mother? Hey, tequila! Take it up with New York. He left me hanging for breakfast. Excuse me. Good, uh, morning. Uh... What's wrong? I can't find my desk. We didn't give you one. Excuse me, Captain. Nuzo and I have fixed one up for him in the corner. Where? Right over there. Look, I know we're crowded in here, but this is ridiculous, Jake. I'll have Muzo set something up. This is perfect. I love it. <laughs> Reminds me of New York. Thank you. Ah, look at this, Mon Royal typewriter. By the way, we hauled in Russell Lester last night. Oh, yeah? You were right. I mean, he's some sort of fender bender lover. <laughs> He actually picks up women by hitting them on the freeway, like you said. Did he confess to picking up the victim? Sylvia McCaffrey, yes. He admits that he dinged her Mercedes on the highway, he follows her home, he has drinks with her, and then he has sex in the bathroom before leaving. Oh, wait a minute, you're leaving out a very important part of your Captain. He said he didn't kill her. And you believed him? He had an alibi. <laughs> I'll bet. His wife? His wife? For a second there, Officer Garcia, you had me worried. I thought it might be somebody who wouldn't lie for him. And the emergency staff at Cedars? He and his wife admitted their two-year-old daughter at 1.17 p.m. She was running a temperature of 104.9. The diagnosis, ear infection. They didn't leave until 7. So he strangled her, went home, and took his kid to the hospital. What is this, a puzzle? Sam Spade says that Sylvia McCaffrey died between the hours of 2 and 4 in the afternoon of strangulation, a rope. All right, what about the handwriting analysis? Jake? Uh, preliminary reports indicate it could be hers. Sam Spade is ruling this a suicide. You gonna believe a coroner named Sam Spade or me? I'm telling you she was murdered. I can smell uh, it. Do you believe there's not one loose burrito in the joint this morning? Well, contrary to your olfactory senses visiting Detective Benetti, the facts indicate that Sylvia McCaffrey hung herself. You talking about the blonde with the poodle? Case closed. You can't close it. She was murdered. Yo, B, don't go for it, man. They're trying to dish you, man. B, 
B. Come on, man, don't go for the okie doke. B. B. You gonna desert me too? No, B. I'm your partner. <laughs> what? You call this pizza? Mozzarella, avocado, spinach, croissant crust. That's a regular pizza. Oh, let me guess. It's not real pizza unless it has sausage, pepperoni, um, salami, meatballs. Mm -hmm. Anchovies. You forgot the alige, oh. the anchovies. How can you eat hairy fish? Okay. Yeah. Why don't you try a slice? No, 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 no. My, my mama would hang me. Here you go, Tequila. You appreciate good pizza. Well, so you can't eat it with his mouth closed. He's a dog. <laughs> Polly is like you. Well, who's Polly? Polly is my husband. He was a good cop. Always shares burritos and beer. He believed in gut feelings, and he said a good cop was born with them. He was right. Yeah. I heard he, uh... I killed in the line. It was a uh, man with a gun call. Should have been a kid with a gun call. He was killed by a kid? 13 years old. Paulie hesitated when he should have fired. Maybe Paulie did the right thing. What did you say? Garcia, well, so who would know how he felt if he'd killed that kid? I mean, I've seen it happen. A cop kills someone innocent, a man, a woman, or a kid. Even if it's not his fault, the next time they have to use their gun, they can't. And he's good to nobody. And his family? Himself. Yeah, well, I'd rather have a husband and a father like that than a dead one. And I'll tell you something, Benetti. If I ever have to pull my piece, I won't hesitate any more than you would. What are you looking at? Why are you always so angry? I'm not angry. I'm from Brooklyn. I got a passion for life. I don't like seeing a murderer get away. If it wasn't Russell the Fender Ben the Garcia, it had to be somebody else. That blonde did not hang herself. Beautiful women don't hang or shoot themselves. God, see, they, they take a pill so they can look good in the coffin. Nah, he's right, Sweet Pea. It was a murder. I could smell it, even though my nose was zoning that poodle. <laughs> the poodle! The poodle! She had a strong scent, but nothing in that house smelled of her. Holy smoke! It wasn't the blonde poodle. Oh, sorry, sorry, baby. What the heck got into him? I don't know. The last time he acted like this, he led us straight to the bra, garter belt, and eye heel bandit. I don't even want to know. Just get in, and we'll follow him. You know what I think? He's either after something to eat or a bitch in heat. Oh, yeah? Then why did he lead us here? Come on, baby. Give me a sip. Give me a sip. Just need a little whiff of... Where is it? Come on. Mm, it's got to be around here somewhere. I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. Bay rum and hot poodle. What's this? Where's he going now? I still say he's on the prowl for food or a female. I'm telling you. You got good eyes. Yo, home slice. Uh, I'm looking for a poodle that just came in the heat. They're very funny. Look, she passed this way sometime last night or early this morning. Did you sniff her or not? Toward the docks? Thanks. I owe you one, bro. This is getting dangerous, Benetti. I think we better pick him up. That's fine with me. Get in the car, Tequila. 
What the hell? This new Jack's getting tired. Just one thing, Garcia. How's he gonna lead us anywhere sitting in the car? Don't worry, Benetti. Tequila and I are simpatico. He'll let me know which way to go. Carbon monoxide. Sulfides. Hairspray. <sighs> Burrito. Egg rolls. Sweat. Naga hide. And a poodle with a tinge of bay rum. Damn, I got a great nose. Go left. Go left. Sweetie. Daddy, I think he's trying to tell Go us left. something. Yeah, they want some burrito. Yeah, the cold brew, but first I gotta lead you to the killer and me to the poodle. Turn left. Take the next left. I think he wants us to take the next left. Why not? It's California. People get messages from moonbeams. Why not dogs? Next left, you got it. Taking orders from a dog. Detective Benetti, want to open the gate, please? That's a New York badge. <laughs> you say like it came out of a Cracker Jack's box. A guy and a gal with a snuffle-nosed dog? I wouldn't be surprised. Who you call a snuffle-nosed butt face? It's OK, Benetti. No, 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 I got it. Look, let me tell you something. This gold shield here has opened more doors in New York than a bellhop. But if it's not good enough for a La La Land rent a cop I can revert to more primitive methods. Are you threatening me? Oh, absolutely. I guess it's all right. Thank you. Less than numero due, Garcia. Sometimes a little street talk is better than a writ. Here, yeah, come on, street talk. Follow me. The nose knows. Come on. Get close up. Over here. Over here. It's right here. See that Jag? That's the guy that flipped me off on the freeway. How do you know that's the exact same Jag? I remember the license plate. I-M-P-E-X-P-T. Am I right? Look, maybe it's just a coincidence. Yo, go see. One coincidence of murder is enough. All I know is that whoever owns that Jaguar followed Mr. Fender Bender and the blonde off the freeway. Maybe he picked up they were going to boom with boom like I did. Oh, so you knew they were going to go boom with boom I told you. He was lean. She was hungry. It was obvious. He follows them to her place. As soon as Russell splits, he slides right in. To kill her? Well, who knows? Maybe he wanted a little bit of the action, too. Maybe he thought he could extort some money from her. She's married. Maybe his wife sleeps with guys who ding her car. All I know is that whoever owns the Jaguar strangled the blonde. So you double time back to that guard shack, run a make on the plate, and make sure you get a search warrant. What if you're wrong? Then he won't run when I show him my badge. All right, all right, good job. Good? It was great. It ranks right up there with Lassie Come Home. Benji's Great Adventure. Oh, yellow fighting the bear. Ah, there you are. I was afraid you were never going to show up. Ooh, hello, sweet thing. You knew there was a bitch involved, huh? Oh, it's all right for you to get busy, but not me. I don't think so. I don't usually hang around past 7, even when I am getting an extra grand to rush the paperwork. Yeah, you know those L.A. freeways, one big parking lot. Well, they won't seem so bad in your new roles. Yeah. Hold the police. Hold, throw, shoot! B? Jerry! What's up? That's a good luck. Oh, he's bad, ain't he? Come on.
Drop it. What happened? Are you all right? He's dead. Where? Up on the deck. Tequila and the poodle were in the water. The poodle? Yeah. That's what tequila was after. Not the killer, his poodle. Look, there they are. Oh, look, he's pushing her to the landing. Oh. Well, see, I don't think he's pushing her. Of course he's pushing her. Look, she's doggy paddling and he's just. I don't know dogs could do that in the water. It smells like the Fulton fish market on a Friday night. <laughs> Why is it they don't appreciate the finer smells in life? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Should have hosed you down at the docks. You're messing up my whole place. What are you talking? Your place? It's your ex-wife's place. And Eddie, why can't you ever let up? Good. He tracked down the murderer, and the you. The murderer. He didn't track down the murderer, he was tracking her. Tequila was more interested in a little uh, boom de boom <laughs> You are whack, Benetti. I do my job as a cop and you question my motives? Huh, I am out of here. Hey, don't make my... Tequila, come back here. I gotta dry you off. Look, you get water over my floor. Come back here. Tequila, come over here. Tequila! 